<laughs> I'm here with John Slattery, who made his directorial debut <clears throat> in God's Pocket. Uh, it premiered, I think, yesterday. I was there. Uh, I love this. You don't movie. remember though, do you? I, 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 kind of Sunday. It was yesterday. It's like, it's like dog years, right? It's all one kind of right, day right. here. Uh, love this movie. Love these characters. Love this place. Eleanor, the drunk at the bar. <laughs> where did you find her? That is uh, Prudence. She's a three-name uh, actress. Uh, her, her last, her first and last are Prudence Holmes, I believe, and I can't remember the middle name because I'm an idiot. Um, she's she's a New York actress. Bill Buell, her partner at the bar with the accident call. I mean, those are They're New York great. is uh, you know Bartender. loaded with people like that. Peter Garrity, yeah. last minute addition to the to the to the scene. Peter Garrity. Who's known Phil Hoffman for twenty years? So, like, you know, all, known Richard Jenkins for twenty years. They've all, everybody and knows my, everybody. My personal Brad Pitt, John Turturro, oh. loved him. Great. Is he not the greatest? He is great. He's, He's a great guy too. He's so knowledgeable. He's directed five movies. He just finished his mm -hmm. fifth, I guess. Um, helpful, great ideas. Couldn't be more generous. So, as a uh, Director, first time director, you're making it with this this mm -hmm. film. We'll get to why this film later. Mm -hmm. But what is it like directing all these guys? I mean, you're in New York, you're a New York actor. Uh, a lot of them that you know, a lot of them that have directed movies before. Yeah. Uh, does that make the process easier or is it a little bit more? No, uh, very much. Well, it, you know, if you, if you think about it long enough, it's daunting. I mean, the whole thing is pretty daunting if you think about it too long. The, the, the the brief experience I've had directing the the closer you get to start starting, the tension is insane because you're like what if this what if the what if this goes wrong what if I don't get that permit what if they can't be you know because yeah. there's always scheduling scheduling mm -hmm. is brutal, mm -hmm. you know getting Phil and John and Richard and Christina and Eddie Marzan who lives in in London and you know all in the same room at the same time is is really not easy. So that's strenuous and stressful. Did you wish that almost at any point that you weren't doing it? Uh, no, I never, I never wished I wasn't doing it. Although there were times before we started shooting that I literally couldn't imagine what it would be like to uh, be finished with shooting. And, and uh, you know, so I, I was like, I have no idea what that would, it just seemed mountainous to me. Um, and not in a bad way, just in a, in a, in a it, it was such a, it seemed to be a giant task to me. Mm -hmm. And why this subject matter? I mean, for me, it obviously, it was a book um, yeah. that you had tried to buy the rights to years earlier, and it right. finally kind of bubbled up again yeah. and uh, came back your way. But it is—it's it, a small story, but it has all these other stories. Mm. And for me, I could have followed any of these people in this town of God's Pocket, where I don't know where it is, but yeah. I kind of want to visit it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and go to that or bar not. called the Hollywood. The Hollywood Bar. <laughs> The Hollywood Bar didn't exist. It, we shot in Yonkers. I'm sorry. Your question yeah, was no, no. why? Yeah, why these? Why did? Why this book? Um, you know, I read Paris Trout, which is Pete Dexter's uh, novel, which was very well known and a great book. And uh, and um, you know, fell in love with the writing. And then, kind of like you do, you go back and you you see what else what else people have mm -hmm. uh, have written. And that was his first novel. And I just finished the book and thought, this is a movie. Um, I mean, it sounds stupid, but that's exact. I mean, I, I closed the book and thought this would make a really good movie. Um, and um, as a, as you said, tried to do, tried to sort of figure it out. Probably best that that didn't happen at that period of time because I would have been even less prepared than I was, mm -hmm. you know, now. Um, forgot about it. Somebody reminded me of it, and then and then we started again, and and it worked out. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, he's okay. such a, you know, the characters are funny. They're they they they, they they're very human. They're, they're they're simply drawn yet unexpected, and and the place reminds me of a bunch of different like the sub the Boston, you know, the the, mm -hmm. the outskirts of Boston where I grew up, um, you know, and and then I don't know. It just it made me laugh, and then I was yeah. you know I was Irish impressed. Irish funeral, I love that. Irish it's like, funeral, it's yeah. Like an Irish funeral. Right? Well, congratulations. Thank you.